Greetings, travelers, and welcome back to Fallout 4. I know, I'm sorry. It's been a while since we played Fallout 4, and I just had to take a moment to even realize what we were doing last time. But it came pretty clear what we were doing last time. I remember that there was these two pods, and we went into the brain of what's-his-face and learned some things that I don't actually remember, but I'm sure Quest Log will. So, let's just try and pick up where we left off and find our way around here. Apparently she didn't care if I took some of the stuff in her office, but everything else is kind of out of the question, I guess. The memory den's not accepting The memory den, that's what this place was called. Because you, if you're still alive, you can actually go back and revisit your own... Is that Preston Garvey? What's he doing here? I mean, whatever. I mean, if he wants to revisit his own memory, sure. I don't know what happened to his hat, though. Yeah. Hello, Nick. Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. What's going on with your voice? That was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What? Um. Sarcastic? You try for round two? Let's go. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, good. So Nick is going to eventually turn into Kellogg if that little thing um, goes much further. You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? That's what was wrong with his voice. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Oh, Nick, I don't want to kill you in the end. Um, Glowing Sea. That's right. We were trying to find one doctor that was out at the Glowing Sea, but it's such... High radiation, we're gonna have to have some radiation protection gear. Um let's ask about the glowing we sea have first. To head into the glowing sea. Any advice? Hmm. I'm a scent, so radiation isn't much of an issue for me, but an old suit of power armor might just be the guardian angel. Oh, I have to go pick up my power armor? Or you could buy up all the rad X and rad away you can find. Oh, I do have a ton of rad away. Um I'm going to head out on my own. Yeah, I'm not exactly I'm confident with bringing Nick along right now. I mean, I usually leave... I don't know where dog... Oh, there's dog meat. I usually leave dog meat alone as it is. And go do my own thing. What's what's behind door number red? Oh, I guess it's just the... Secretary's desk, if you will. It's all stealing. I don't want to take any of that stuff. Okay. To the glowing sea. Now, do I really want to grab my power armor? I haven't actually used it at all so far. So maybe it might be a little fun, kind of, taking it out and putting it through its paces. It also provides a lot of damage uh, resistance, I assume. I mean, I haven't exactly upgraded any of the components or anything. It's still just a plain old vanilla power suit, but let's actually, well, I guess... Mm, let's take a look at where the glowing sea is at. Alright, where's our map? So we're here, and the glowing sea is way out there. Um, I'm a little slow. That's a lot of stuff to traverse, just all by my lonesome. So maybe bringing the power armor along isn't that bad ideal. I'll fast travel back to Sanctuary, pick up my power armor, and then fast travel to the closest place I can to the glowing seed to save a little bit of time. Last we played, I ended up st stopping there just within the memory den, and I didn't actually do anything in between episodes like I usually do, whether it's scrapping weapons and uh, adding new mods to my current guns, so I guess I'll run through and just scrap all the weapons I have, or all the junk weapons I have at the moment, so that... Uh, craft... Just so I'm not over encumbered at the moment. Um, I don't know exactly. That's definitely scrap. That is too. Don't want any shotguns. Nope. Oh, and that is. Nope. Uh, tab. Do not want to scrap that. That's actually my modded one. Scrap that. Ported hair trigger pipe pistol. Um, I don't know. I don't think that's one I actually modified myself. Definitely can scrap all these pipe pistols. Don't need any of those. Combat rifle. 
Do I have any, a hardened sniper rifle? It doesn't look like it's actually the same base. It looks like it's actually a different weapon. This uses the 308 ammo, and this uses the 45 ammo. I really like this new pistol, but I don't have much ammo in terms of that. Well, since it uses a different kind of ammo, I might as well keep it. 10 millimeter. I already have a 10 millimeter that I use, don't I? No, I guess not. I guess I probably scrapped my other 10 millimeter since I wasn't really using it. I guess I'll keep that around. Okay, let's go ahead and mod this really quickly. Um, barrel. What do we want? Probably. Uh, I don't have actually the very high of a gun nut rank, so I can't get. I can't mod it that much. Most of the weapons I find are gonna just be as they are. Fire rate. Automatic. Receiver. Eh, I'm not going to actually spend any money. Maybe it's something that'll give me a little more damage or accuracy. Long barrel. Oh, long barrel's as good as it's going to get. Stock. As good as it's going to get. Oh, yeah. Let's add a little bit of a... Reflex sight, maybe? It's a rifle, so a scope might be useful. Yeah, let's go ahead and add a... Hold on, what, am I going to waste anything I might need later? No, I'll be fine. I got tons of all this stuff. And make... Okay. Um, bayonet. Hmm, nah. Not going to bother. Alright, that's fine as it is. And, oh, and exit. Okay. Now, our power armor. I don't think I really have any kind of ability to mod it, so I'm not even going to try. And enter. Alright, let's see how this goes. Got a new little heads-up display. It's going to take me a little getting used to. Alright, okay. Now I have to save a little bit of time. Oh, it's a different pit boy It comes up just right in front of my face. I guess that makes sense, considering my pit boy is actually inside my armor at the moment. So, one of these two places is probably going to be the fastest. Oh, I haven't actually discovered that place yet. Alright, uh, the closest place is going to be Diamond City. I don't know why it's on my map. Maybe because I heard people talking about it in Diamond City. Hardware Town and whatever the other one was. So we'll probably discover them as we head out towards our destination, but we're not going to worry about clearing them out too much. I wonder if I should leave dog meat behind. I might just because of the radiation, but I guess he can't really die and he's useful for carrying stuff. Yeah, I'll bring him along. What's the worst that could happen? At most, I just have to wait around for a while for him to regain his health and teleport back to me. Sleeping in a bed will fully restore your health and heal any crippled body parts. Useful to know, because there are random beds scattered out throughout the wasteland. So, like, if I want to save myself on stim packs, stim packs are really useful, like, if you're in the heat of battle and need that instant health to keep from dying. But, like, if you're not in a rush, you just sleep in a bed and then you'll have to worry about eating any food or anything like that. Which is another thing I haven't actually done, is any of the food crafting. Okay, I'm headed this direction. Let's go, doggy. Let's see if I can remember. Things are kind of glitching out, aren't they? Kellogg's pistol is key four. I only have... I have no ammo for it. Okay. Not sure what that glitching out was. Um, what other... I guess that's why I compensated... I think that was my next best weapon. Hardened sniper rifle. Okay, we'll stick with the compensated pipe pistol. Apparently the right, armor and right arm on this is damaged. I don't remember when that happened. I guess maybe I should have repaired it before I left. 
So running in this thing actually uses AP points. Is that how it is when you're out of the armor? What's going on here? Uh, V. I'm trying to remember how to use my keys. Nope, that's not it. Well, this is going splendidly, our first encounter. That's right, dog meat. You show them. Okay. I forgot what my VATS button is. Hardened radar right arm. Salt gas mask. Oh. Is there still someone left? Where are you at, dog meat? Oh, behind me. Leave my dog alone. Jerk. Okay. You got anything worthwhile? Bottle caps, ammo. Pipe pistol. Yep, taking that. I wonder if the power armor also increases your carrying capacity. Like you can carry more junk before you have to... Before you get encumbered. I don't know. There's a whole lot of Fallout, Fallout 4 that I have not explored. Cocktail, pipe pistol. That, that, that. Gas mask with goggles. Eh, you could keep that. Okay. I'm going to try and spot people before I just walk right up on top of them. That way I can figure out what my VATS button is. Was it Q? It was Q. Okay. Legendary Feral Ghoul Reaver. And just as I say that, I walk, literally walk right on top of one of them. Because this guy is apparently st still alive. And very much not happy with me at the moment. Whoops, wrong gun. Go for the head. Okay, I stunned him. I don't know why he didn't pay any attention to me like when I walked on top of him. Like, I'm a big clunking piece of metal. I'm kind of hard to miss. I was going to say, if I miss that point blank shot, that's kind of sad. Pow powered metal left leg. Alright. Increases action point refresh speed. Interesting. Taking it. The random shot glass. Wow, he took out dog meat in no time flat. Well, that was a bit ridiculous. Guess I'll take some hub flowers, why not? Where was this little greenery? Is it just radiation plants? Glowing fungus. Okay. This is definitely going to take us a while to get to the glowing sea if our encounters are going to be this often. I guess I can just... Oh! Fragvine. I guess that's the benefit of going around. Military cap. Anything useful. Of going around and tapping your VATS button. It kind of highlights... Where was that fat fragment? It was over here, wasn't it? Yes. There's a couple over here, apparently. That one's way over there, but... I know that there was one right in here. Or maybe that was it. Okay, so this whole base is... Who's... Is it just a bunch of raiders? Or is it some super mutants? Uh, oh, it looks like some super mutants. Let's just make a... Let's just circumnavigate this thing and... We'll worry about it at another point in time. I hear it. Whoa! Oh, that's what I hear. I didn't hear the mine. I heard the... Oh, okay, we got a mutant hound here. That's real good. Oh, we got one right next to us. I have no idea how to melee, so I'm just going to shoot them until they die. Reload. Almost. I am not at all stealthy in these suits, that is for sure. Where is he at? 
That was a weird bat shot, but whatever. Oh, hello. I mean, this thing does make me pretty tanky from what I can tell. Wow. Oh, is that another mine out here? I bet you it is. Dog meat, I could do with a little bit of help here. Alright, where's the last one? Is he way over there trying to snipe me? Yes, he is. Super Mutant Brute? Like a legendary guy or something? No, I guess it would say legendary if he was legendary. I guess I should maybe pull out my sniper rifle for this guy. I think it does a bit more damage than my pipe pistol. Let's see how much damage we can do. If he would hold still. Come on. Stop moonwalking. There we go. He has a vague idea of where I'm at. But not a very good one. I have a feeling there's a wall there that I might be hitting sometimes. Because I see that tire floating in the air. And maybe just something hasn't loaded in. I guess once we clear this place out, that means we can go in there and get any kind of good loot that might be in there. Come on. I wonder if there's any kind of bullet drop I should be worrying about. Alright. That should be all of them. I mean, I would assume after all that firefight that anybody else that's in there is going to hear and come try to kill me, but... What do I know? Okay. Now that is a tr What was that? Seriously? Okay, dog meat, please do not set off this trap. Thank you. Well, that looks like a trap, but maybe it's just where they were hanging out. Hanging their goods to dry. I think that they stepped on any frag mines. Mini nuke? Oh, that was the suicider. Glad I got him. I got a mini nuke out of it, which is cool. Okay. Is that frag mine over there? Coast Guard Pier. I don't see any mines in here. I wouldn't think they would put frag mines within their own building, but they are super mutants and they do weird things sometimes. Alright, the only other guy was the guy up top. So I gotta find my way up there. What's this? Eddie Winter Holotape 9. Alright. Do I have the ability to unlock this? Yes, I do. I have plenty of bobby pins to try it. Sweet. Nice ammo, ammo, ammo. Pipe, revolver, pistol. I can disassemble. Pre-war money? I have no idea. It doesn't weigh anything, so why not? I'm gonna leave the spoon. Hello? Ah, short automatic pipe. Wrist pipe, 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 pistol. Coast Guard hat, no thanks. More ammo. I'll probably have some ammo for my revolver again. Revolver's alright at kind of medium range, but it really kind of is best at like a shorter range and does awful at long range. That guy really not have anything useful? Maybe he's just a high level. Lightweight shadowed, left leather. Leather left leg. Eh, I'll leave that there. It doesn't sound terribly interesting. Sea captain's hat. No. What is this thing? I guess that's just a chimney. Okay, so there's anything terribly useful. I believe I can jump from any. Yeah, it's a great benefit of the power armor. You jump from any height, and it doesn't harm you. It does create a lot. Is that 
I keep hearing that noise and I'm, and I'm worried that it's like a frag mine, but I don't know how harmful it is to walk over a frag mine with this suit, you know? Bobby pins, drugs, ammo. Hey, why can't I craft? I can't do that while in power armor. Oh, I guess I could get out and scrap those weapons I've picked up. How am I doing on inventory space? Ah, I still have quite a bit of space left. I won't worry about scrapping quite yet. Now, we'll check this building, and then we'll get back on our way. I'll try not to get distracted too much. Cigarettes, no thanks. Clothing iron. Alright, that looks like it's about it. Do not think... Nope, that's... I was like, is that a door I can open? But it is not. Probably is a frag mine. I just don't know where the frag mine's at. Which one am I headed? Can I just walk across the river? Like, I don't know how much radiation I absorb. How, how do I see my total radiation? I can see how many rads maybe I'm taking per second. Oh, and I've completely lost the right arm on this thing. I guess I should try to find a power armor workstation. Alright, I guess I'll just walk across the river. I guess, I'm guessing that this is the biggest area where I would have gotten a lot of radiation. Just simply for the fact that there's no bridges that I could have walked across instead. Like swimming across this river without power armor would have been a bit of a no-no. 